This is a short video clip of our chicken house and chicken yard here at Shadrack Farms. We are going to get some hens soon. Uh, we're going to do a little bit more cleanup here. There's storm debris in there. Uh, but uh, notice that the fence has electric wire along it so that uh, no predators can climb up to the top of this 10-foot fence. The bottom of the fence is very solid uh, lattice. We have three gates into the chicken yard. Hen boxes in the house, closet to keep the food. It'll probably be too dark to see right now that we do have hen boxes in there. Roosting bars are in there. This is kind of like a chicken palace. Um, we have automatic water. We have lights. We have bins to keep the food outside and enclosed so that the rats won't get to it as well as inside the house. And uh, we have a lot of area for free roaming, which is very important uh, to Shadrack Farms. All the livestock there get to browse and graze most of the day and night. Now this is the storm debris that's gonna be pick, picked up soon in the next day or so. This is a eucalyptus tree. And another concern I have, you're looking at the fences here, is hawks. We do live close to a creek bank. So I'm gonna try to figure out how to somehow, maybe with laundry line or something, uh, make a little web up here so that uh, flying predators can't look down and see the browsing and grazing chickens and swoop down to get them. My main concern is safety, and then my next concern is uh, natural living. And then it sure will be fun to have some of our own chicken eggs each day. And that's all for today. Sonia Sokolo, this is the Urban Cowgirl Show. This is just a short video showing you how these hens will be housed. That's the electric fence charger. On certain days, I'm not sure yet, I can open any one of these three gates and let the hens roam around here. But I am concerned about that side of the property, way down there at the end of the camera's view is a creek. I am concerned about the hens wandering down there and uh, having to deal with predators like bobcats and coyotes. So I'm just not sure if I'm going to allow it because I, I want their safety to be number one. But they, they'll have a really nice pecking area here for roaming uh, safely within the fence of the chicken pen, chicken castle here at Shadrack Farms. And we'll have chicken pellets and scratch available to them uh, every day. And at night we'll safely put it away so the rats don't come in and uh, bother the chickens, us, or their food. Okay, this is Lindsay Brown, and she's bringing me five Banty hens, and uh, she's giving us instructions that Banty hens are about three years old and they are laying, mm -hmm. right? And yeah. we have laying boxes in there filled with shavings. I'd like you to look in there and make sure we're doing that right. We have some roost bars in there, and I wanna make sure that they can get up onto the roost bars. We're putting a camera in so we can watch them. Sure. Um, where this door is going to automatically close after dark, like around 10. Okay. We just want to make sure that they'll all be in there. So yeah. I need the camera and the light on. Yeah. Do, are they pretty smart? Yeah, they're, pr they're pretty smart. They'll go in, they'll find a place to roost, and um, they'll in for the night. Okay, and then in the mornings, I get up usually at dawn, I just open it up, and they'll come out and be cozy uh, yeah. out here, yeah. enjoying themselves. Okay, now Lindsay was a little bit concerned about them flying out. I don't know what more I can do for a ceiling. <laughs> um, 
where and, and oh what you have is actually um it's chicken carpet. wire up there huh uh well they're in right now is like um we have a, a run-in shed um, with the aluminum roof and back siding, and it's um, like a row shed, and they're partitioned off. Um, we have different birds from different pens, and partitioned with uh, the chicken wire and a gate in the front with chicken wire. Yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't do chicken wire here because I knew there would be debris falling on yeah. it all the time, and that's why I did the laundry line. Can you look up, Kyle, and show that laundry line? Okay, so for now... I tell you, I would feel better, Angela, go in the garage and get one of those small water things okay. and put it in there. Okay. Just in case uh, this takes three three hours or so, you, you think they'd be okay in there, all five of them? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. We'll put some water in, then I'll have you put them in there. Okay. And then when we're ready to open them up, we'll just open that door. Will they come out? Yeah. They'll, yeah? They'll, they'll figure out um, where everything is and where the food is, where the water is. Okay. Now, in case my daughter, Susanna, who's right now in Turkey, wants some of these, um, how many more do you think you have? Um, she has maybe three um, and a couple of roosters. So. Okay. She can't have the roosters because she lives on Fort Ord area, okay. um, but it is considered city. And believe it or not, as rural as this is, mm -hmm. it's roosters aren't allowed. Okay. Uh, that makes me angry. Um, but... Uh, uh, if she would want them, if I sent, if I get this uploaded and send her a link in Turkey, and she wants to get in touch with you about reserving those three that you still have, she lives in Monterey County, so mm -hmm. it's quite close to you. Yeah. Um, uh, that would work. You check yeah. your email. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, can you great. tell us what your email is? Um, my email is uh, Storm Ranch, one word, all lowercase. That's S T O R M R A N C H uh, at gmail.com. Um, and I uh, have it on my phone so I can um, reply at any time of the day. And um, Would you feel comfortable giving a phone number here in case she wants to reach you? Yeah, from sure. Turkey? Go ahead. Um, my phone number is 831-588-5954. And it's the same thing. Uh, pretty much uh, have it on me all day. So if you give me a call. Is it an iPhone? A uh, smartphone. Yeah. A smartphone. Yeah. And uh, dro droids? Yeah, that's what I have, but I only know a few of the buttons. Yeah. But I like being able to check email. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and put it in in the back, up against the back wall. Would that work? Or should um, she put it in the middle, or what? Wherever you want to put it. Um, it, it doesn't really matter where. It's, I mean, they might. We don't want them to knock it over. It's not easily knocked. Put it on the back wall. Yeah, in the corner, maybe. The, the three that you have left, are they similar in size and nature? Yeah, um... I think they might be slightly older. Um, I'm not sure about how much because they all scared me. <laughs> but um, yeah. are they herd bound? Um, well, they like being in groups, um, so I mean it's good if you have more than one. Yes, but the fact that you took these five away from those three, are they oh. going to be stressed? No, no. That's um, they aren't. I mean, they like being in groups, but they don't really um, object to being separated at all. Okay. Like my horses, they yeah. don't like to be separated. Okay, so um, it, at dusk, is it dusk or when the shadows are long or what? Will they go into the house? Um, when uh, one well summer, probably around eight or so, they'll probably want to start roosting. Um, anything I might suggest is um, having the uh, door closed a little earlier, maybe around that time, um, just because then we have problems with. Yeah, I do too. Raccoons, and that's sort of when they come out. Yeah, so, you think so? Not at dark. Yeah, it's like when it gets dusk, and you know the sun kind of drops down below. Okay. Um, it's not quite dark yet, but yeah. Okay, but d can we trust they'll be in there? Yes, they will. They will find. Um, they will. I mean, they'll definitely go in there and roost up, and I mean, they'll find a high spot where it's safe. Though, so. Okay. Uh, what if um, uh, you don't? I don't have a rooster, so they're not likely to get broody, right? And kind of hide and hide their eggs. Um, these guys, they do get broody if you let them like collect like like three or more eggs. Um, but if you collect eggs every day, it's not. Okay. Yeah. Would um, with the stress of moving them, maybe keep them from wanting to lay? Um, well, they really only lay once they get a, a clutch of eggs. Um, I mean, I mean, 
sometimes I don't collect eggs for a couple of days, and um, they will go in there and they'll be sitting on them. So yeah. I just move them out of the way and collect my eggs. And Should I expect? Uh, well, let's let's say we put them in there in a few hours. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this and open it up in there. Mm -hmm. Would it be a smart idea to to lock them in there for the first day? I think it'd probably be a good idea. Too. And then in the morning, just open the front door. Yeah, just as long as they got their food and water and things. Like yeah. Get oriented and. Yeah. Okay. Um, so would I expect to find any eggs tomorrow? Probably, yeah. Are they white? Uh, they're like a, a light cream color. Okay. Yeah. They're tiny? Um, they're pretty small. Probably about that, maybe. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, have you had any mite problems or anything like that? No. I checked them before I brought them over here. They're, they're clean. Um, if you do have mite problems, uh, you have a product called um, Seven Dust. You use it for garden and Seven dust. Yeah, S E V I N. Dust. Okay, yeah. Sana probably knows about that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, for now, do we want to put them in? Do we have to go in there ever, like to change a light bulb or something like that? Uh, I haven't put the bulb in yet. So. Y yeah. Uh, Let me do that right now. Yeah, go ahead and do that. So my my next question is for their comfort. Should we um, put them in the house in the kennel, facing forward? And then when we're all done working here, just open the kennel door. Um, you can do that, or you can leave them out here. And then carry them in. Yeah. They, they won't get spooked by that. Um, no, they probably won't. Okay. Uh, at dusk, um, are they pretty easily catched? Um, you know, can you pick them up? Yeah, they, they probably will be a little bit flighty just because they've been moved around and stuff. They're not super tame, but they definitely have been around people, so... They're comfortably tame now. Okay. Did you raise them from chickens? From teeny weeny chicks? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, with with lamps and all of that stuff. Um, I think yes. Some of them may have been um like raised in a brooder as chicks, and I, some of them may have been hatched uh, actually from another hen. Um, but I don't know exactly which ones, but I know so, there's some from each. Because you have a ro roosters and they yeah. impregnate the hen, yeah. or the eggs. Yeah. <laughs> right. Any other questions, girls? Now, tomorrow, Angela, if they're not already out, you're in charge. Okay. okay. Do you have any questions? What to do? What if they don't come out? They'll come out on their own. They will? Yeah. And if we reach in there, we just kind of shoo them out? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I'm pretty sure they'll, they'll come out on their own. Okay. Okay, now, uh, I, when I first saw your ad, it was the 9th, and you had had it in there from the 6th. Did you have other calls? Um, yes, I think most people, um, the calls I did get, they lived kind of far away, and they didn't really want to, um, like, drive that far. Um, but, it seems, I mean, it seems like a really good place. So. Okay. Um, my daughter uh, taught me about the word straight up. It's really hard to find chicks that are banties that you can guarantee are female. Do you agree with that? Um, well, we buy, um, we bought banties, we buy them online, yeah. and uh, you get the breed you want, and you can specify whether you want males or females or just a mix. Um, and um, they're usually really accurate. Get, like all females, they'll be all females. Even banties? Yes. Oh, because my uh, feed store lady, uh, who's kind of a chicken guru there, she said she can never guarantee the banties. She can guarantee the others, but not the banties. Um, in my experience, it's the same. I mean, they have to, you have to separate them out when they're just hatched. I mean, you can't wait, because then the feathers, um, the feathers go in, you can't really tell. Them. Oh, and how can you tell when they're just hatched? Um, well, when they're just hatched, the wing feathers, uh, the males will have just fluffy down, and um, the females will have pin feathers. Pin feathers? Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. um, but once they're more than a day old, then they'll all have pin feathers. So okay. Kind of oh, weird. I see. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So can you put them in there yep. and, and just hang around long enough so we know we're not going to have any stressed whatevers? Did you, did you hear them just... Yeah. They're waking up. <laughs> She's kind of shooing them out. Uh, are you afraid they're going to turn around and come and run out? Should Angela help you? Um, Angela, bring her the other one. I think so. She doesn't want to come out. <laughs> okay, she, she's 
actually, okay, she just picked her up from the chest. Okay, Angela, bring her the other one. Good. Can you help her? Whatever she needs to do. Yeah, okay. Good. So, ever at 8 o'clock, not 10 o'clock, she said, the door should be closed at 8 o'clock. I definitely have to make sure. Well, we'll talk after you done. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, the back here. <clears throat> they're clucking. I don't know if the camera can hear, but they're so cute. Yeah, these are, um, they're called Belgian bearded deanders. Uh -huh. um, they're a European breed. Um, I like them because they have little muffs on their um, cheeks and Color What's a muff? Uh, you, no, that's all right. I, I'm no, afraid. No, it's okay. I'll just show you. Okay, okay, but don't let them come out. Then I'm scared. <laughs> oh, it's that darling. Um, they have these little muffs right here on the side. And yeah. Under here is a beard. Uh huh. So. Um, yeah. Now this one has a few feathers on their feet. Or no, that's, no, that's just, just leftover. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I just don't want feathers on the feet because then they get dirty and you have to clean yeah. them. And I'm trying to, you know, keep this pleasurable and easy and um, yeah. pleasurable for everybody involved. None of them have feathers on their feet. No. Okay. It's the feather queen-legged breeds. Right? Oh, okay. Okay. The silkies have feathers on their feet. Yes. Do you have silkies? No, I don't have silkies, oh. but I know what they are. So the three that you have left, um, they look pretty much like this. Yeah. Um, the These ones are, that I'm getting rid of, uh, they're my coals for my breeding project. They're not perfect because I raise show birds. Oh. Um, so they're not perfect specimens of the breed. So they don't all look exactly similar, uh -huh. but they're pretty similar. Okay. So. We'll take the calls. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, we're not show people around here. Yeah. Is that okay. the age on the wristband or the leg band? Oh, the leg bands, um, just ID. Okay. Um, they won't do anything. If you want me to take them off, I can. But uh, each, kinda, each has a different number? Um, I think some of them have them and some of them don't. Oh, um, how would you take them off? They're little uh, snap cuffs. Yeah, go ahead and take them off. So we don't have to do that for whatever reason might happen. And you're so comfortable holding them, I, I'd be shaking. <laughs> and, you know, am I doing it right? Am I going to lose it? Here, I'll take it. Okay, and then see if the other ones do. Uh, I think there might be one more with them. You want to help her with the door? I think I got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, are they darling. Make sure you show her where, where we set up the, the uh, back boxes. Mm -hmm. Make sure we did it okay. Do they have names? Um, no, I don't think these had names. Only my show ones have names. Okay, and the three you have left are not the show ones? No, they're they're also Coles, too. And I they're just, about three years old also? Yeah. Okay. Somewhere around there. Okay. Okay, go, you can put them back then. And then I'd like Angela to show you the inside. And Kyle, you go ahead and show. And, and uh, let's uh, get your comments. That's why I want you to come before everybody leaves so that okay. if there is any um, suggestions you can you won't put these out there mm -hmm. for her okay. um, that you know my uh, helpers will know what to do so my email yeah, is storm ranch oh, that's yeah, one word lowercase s t o r m r a n c h at gmail.com i can reach me um, on that email or on my phone my phone number is 831 588-5954. Uh, inside of our chicken pen, I don't know if you can see, but there are shavings in the egg boxes in the back. And uh, before dark, uh, like around 4 or 5 o'clock, we're going to put the uh, chickens um, in this hen house and uh, just chain the, the door open, let them go out at their leisure. Because uh, we don't have an automatic door closer yet today, but we hope to have one by tomorrow. And also, my feed store man is going to bring me some crumbles. So the only food they have is uh, something I got from Pet Pals, and it's kind of a, a scratch mix. I hope 
Uh, that won't be a problem. He may be able to bring the crumbles today. How long can you work, Kyle? I'll stay as late as I Okay. Can. All right. So. He was busy, and he was going to call me back, and I said, I'll be outside. I know. Okay. Okay. Let's stop the camera. I'm going to up. Okay. Now we're going to turn on the sprinkler system. I'm sitting, like, in the middle. Well, you got the camera going yet? You're going to get wet. I'm going to get wet, so uh, I'll just, uh, just uh, for a minute, I want to see how the sprinklers work. Shut off valve down there, which is turned off. Okay, I'll probably be shutting the camera off and putting it under my uh, dress in a moment, but I just want to give you an idea what we're doing to to make a really nice yard for the chickies as this is composted manure covered by shavings and seed under the shavings in due time we hope to have grass if we can regularly water it are we waiting for it to turn on He's trying to figure out how to turn it on. Yeah, hello? Yeah. They're so cute. Oh, good. What's up? Okay, I'm going to uh, turn off the camera until Everett's off the phone. Manual watering. Turn the rotary dial to auto. Yeah, and then you click press manual. manual. Okay. Yeah, and then that shows so you you click it over. Okay, yeah. Auto, manual. Then it says A B, and then you get down. Man, now you're on your belts. Okay. Oh, so we'll yeah. Put a couple minutes on it. Then. Yeah. And then. Okay. Now he's gonna put a couple minutes on it, and it should come on here. Ooh, ooh. Here it comes, there it is.